Hi, it's me again with Corel Tips and Tricks. Here's a really easy 3D looking object that uh, anybody could draw. Get your polygon tool, have it set on six sides, hold down the control button to make a perfect one, hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then just take a two point line and we're gonna go from that node to that node and then from that node to that node. And what we're doing is we're making the shape right here I like getting rid of the lines after I do it. So I'm going to see how big this thing is. It's big. It's over 15 inches. So we'll set our nudge factor to 18. We'll take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And I'm going to make it that blue. Now I can nudge it out of the way and delete my lines. Now I can nudge that back and they won't interfere. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And normally I put in my indexing lines, and, but I happen to hit it pretty good. Then I'm going to rotate. Well, first of all, we need to use the interactive fill tool on it to give it some depth. So we're going to get the interactive fill. We're going to go from that point to there. We're going to add black to this side and then bring your slide bar down because we just want a little bit. Matter of fact, we're going to add a little bit of blue maybe even midway, kind of give it some look. Now I am going to bring in indexing lines and you can turn them on and off, but there's my center one. Then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, move that center rotation to the center. And it is rotate it 60 degrees, control D, control D, control D, control D. Pretty cool. Pretty cool design. It actually looks pretty real. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.